So, Dave, another three points. We uh, we close the gap to Barrow. Your reaction to the game? Um, I suppose tonight, um, we spoke before the game. Result was was more important than performance. Um, two very very different halves from, from our perspective. First half, I thought we were we were very good um, and should have been. The game should have been, the game should have been over. To be honest, from the first half. Um, with the opportunities we created, and um, I suppose the only criticism was we didn't work the goalkeeper enough. Um, second half, I just don't think we, we played the conditions um, well enough. Um, and on another night, we could have got pegged back, um, which would have been um, a travesty in terms of the, the, um, this amount of play we had first half, if you like. So this is the third consecutive game now, we've scored three goals, you must be pleased that we're getting on the score sheet a bit more. Yeah, we should have more than three tonight, I think first half we've had a lot of chances and, and, and not stuck them away and um, like I said previously, that can come back and bite you at times, um, especially especially with the, with the way the weather was, it was only going to get more and more difficult as the game progressed and, and that, was, that was the case. Um, I think hopefully we'll learn from it and the fact that you, you can't play how um, we want to play all the time, whether that's state of the pitch, whether that's weather conditions and it obviously it has not raining for two and a half hours so um, the pitch was getting wetter and wetter um, and we probably played too deep in our own half um, during the second half, we needed to get the ball forward quicker which is probably a little bit foreign to us and against what, what, what we do um, but it's needs must and um, certainly between now and the end of January we're not going to play on pitches that are conducive all the time to progressive passing football so we've got to be able to mix it up um, and I think we, we sort of fell foul out a little bit second half. We've got the best defensive record in the league this year, how pleased have you been with the back four's performances? Yeah I don't think it's just the, the back four, I think um, defensively we've been, been really good, we obviously had a, a stage where we conceded some, some poor goals um, from our perspective from set pieces and, and the like um, but defensively we've been very good and the long may that continue obviously didn't see us conceding tonight, if I'm honest. Um, but like I say, a little bit of a two 0 a little bit of sloppiness, and um, it only takes one mistake, and the ball ends up in the back of your net. And obviously, then we've got a, um, potentially what could be a sticky last ten minutes. We've obviously got another third goal, which is great. But um, I think, on the whole, even tonight we've defended well, and, and probably. We didn't deserve to go to see the goal we did, but like I say, you make mistakes sometimes. It ends up in the back of your head. Danny Rowe scored a spectacular goal today. He's now got four in his last three games. You must be pleased to see one of your your summer signings finally paying off. No, he's done. He's done well, Rowe. I think he's got um, how many goals? Twelve. Twelve. Something like that. So <laughs> he's done well. As I said after after Saturday's game, he, he had a run at the start of the season where he, he played a lot of football and he looked. Um, they looked a little bit jaded and, and needed a rest and in fairness he, he's come back in and um, certainly the goals Saturday were, were pleasing and the fact that we've asked him to, especially as, a, as, the, as the main striker, to get himself in the six yard box and he's got two um, two sort of tappings, the, the goal he scored tonight we know he's capable of that. Um, but from our perspective again pleasing because he's got himself in a little bit of a hole, he's, he's, he's checked his shoulder, been able to turn and obviously finish well from 20, 20, or so, 20 odd yards. Um, so, no good goal, and uh, like I said, I think his, his all round performance was um, in, an improvement for Saturday. Um, although we got two goals on Saturday, he's got another one tonight, so hopefully he'll, uh, he'll gain some confidence from that and uh, keep scoring. Uh, so, uh, Mike Barnes, Matt Blinks, and uh, Tom Exley are out injured. Can you tell us any more about their injuries and when you when we can see them back? No, Tom's not out injured. Tom's at, um, Tom's at Curzon, we've still read it to Tom, so he's been playing there, he's, I think he's played probably um, 4 or 90 minutes um, for them, scored, scored a couple of goals, um, which is probably not a lot, we got the fourth and the centre half, but he's got himself in there, so now he, he, he definitely needs to play, he's obviously had a long term injury and um, it's important for, for him that in that following season you get, you get games, he wasn't, wasn't doing that here. Um, so we've dual raced him there and, and, and he's done well by all accounts. Um, Barnsley, again, is, is, is coming along slowly. We'll have to, have to see where he is. We'd hoped that 
we might get um, him back for sort of around Christmas, New Year. Again, it's it's just a case of, of seeing how, how he progresses. Um, Blinks is more clear cut in the fact that he's having a have an injection on Thursday, um, which uh, he'll need a couple of couple of days rest, and then he can he can step up um, step up his rehab. So he's probably a couple of weeks away, and we'll be back um, around the around the Christmas um, Christmas New Year fixtures. Obviously not match fit, but certainly um, back in the squad and able to play off selection, which will be a, a huge boost for us. Uh, we've got Telford or Chester in the FA Trophy in the next round. Two big sides, so a good a good. Uh, Betsy at Kellermere Park, your reaction to the draw? Yeah, great, good draw. Um, obviously, first thought is you're at home, which is uh, again a, a bonus because we can control the environment that we play in. Obviously, we're a little bit dependent on the weather at the minute, which tonight has been horrific, but um, pitch has got some, well, have nine days now to recover, and potentially another eight days before we play lower, lower stuff, and then another week till the South or Chester game. So, no, it's a good draw. It's um, Obviously a tie that um, we're at home, we're unbeaten at home, so we go into it with a chance, but also an opportunity to show ourselves and show what we can do against, <coughs> against the Compton Premier side, so game we're looking forward to. Hopefully, um, like I say, capture the imagination a little bit in the fact that um, the crowds you had in the FA Trophy have been disappointing, um, and especially even, even in the league a little bit recently, especially when you consider that um, we're a side that are fighting at the top of the league, we're the first round proper the FA Cup and having a good run of the FA Trophy. Um, and we're trying to play a good brand of football, um, so hopefully people will come out and, and, and support us. And um, whoever it be, Chester or, or Telford, they'll certainly bring plenty of away fans, so hopefully we're all backing ourselves. Alright, thanks Dave, good luck on Saturday, it's Brackley.